Scorpios, I got good news, I got good news, Spirit told me to tell you, Spirit told me to tell you, I got good news, I got good news, Spirit told me to tell you, Spirit told me to tell you. Okay, so, you want to know what the good news is? You do? Okay, okay. Wait, wait a minute. First of all, let me say my little spiel, okay? First of all, Scorpios, I want to say thank you for liking and subscribing to every video and everything I do, to all the channels, you know. I want to say thank you for just being who you are with your beautiful asses. Uh, y'all know I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Um, but yeah, so Spirit told me to tell you this, right? Spirit said, baby, pick three cards and then just tell the people what, what they should know. So I'm like, all right. Boom, 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 boom. First card to pick. The six of wands. Spirit says, family, what is about to happen to you is nothing but victory. Now, before I get into this, right, last night or early this morning, about 2 o'clock, I could not sleep, right? Y'all can go watch the video. I had this premonition, and it was like, uh, it, was, it, it was like a deja vu premonition, right? And it, I was looking at some type of video. I mean, y'all can go watch it. I ain't going to tell you the whole story. But basically, scenario, scenario <laughs> summing it all up, um, I had like a deja vu moment. But this deja vu was like acting out like I knew exactly what was going to happen. Felt like a little time travel type of ordeal, right? And I was kind of like, whoa, now it's about two something in the morning. So uh, I'm like, dang, I need, a, I need to tell my collective. So anyway, y'all can go and watch that video. Um, it's Scorpio, Scorpio talk, not the one before this, but you know, you'll see, I got my little green moo moo thing on anyway. Uh, and, and, and it was so funny because I remember I had that dream or that vision probably about 13 to 15 years ago. I was still hella young and I'm just like spirit. I was asking spirit at that time. I said, spirit, you know, when will I come into some type of massive amount of wealth? You know, like that, that the last who was last will be first type of thing. And I remember Spirit showing me this vision of me watching these people on this thing. And I'm just like, and I'm, and I'm looking around where I was. I'm like, what the fuck? Where, where am I? Right. And I'm seeing it. So now fast forward, fast forward to our present time, like three o'clock early this morning. I'm, I'm reading my book. And I take a little intermission. I start looking on YouTube. I look at this video. And soon as I look at it, it was like the exact same thing that I I saw so many years ago. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I, could, I knew what was going to be said, how it was going to be said, and the looks on their face. I'm like, wait, because usually premonition, well, deja vu for me, family, was like, you know, you will see a particular picture and that was it. Like, boom, damn, I done seen this place before, you know? And that was kind of it. But with this particular time, it, it, it's, I couldn't, I remember what the little scenario was, even though it was like a good, probably like four seconds, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. Within those four seconds, I knew exactly what was happening in that thing. And spirit take, took my mindset immediately back to the time in which I asked for the information. And to sum it all up, it was this is the time this was the question i asked how would i know when this massive amount of abundance uh joy wealth was going to come in and spirit showed me it's now and when spirit told me pick three cards three cards only and you tell them what you see spirit says family there is victory here in now and this present time for those who understand and see, you already feel like you've already received this abundance. It is happening now. Spirit says, you know it is. You can feel it. You have been conjuring up this type of wealth, this type of success for a while. It is now. Spirit says, I was just setting up the stage I was setting the stage. What do you mean Mercy Spirit was setting the stage? Spirit says, I allowed everybody to fall off that was holding you back. I allowed you to cut those strings that seemed so detrimental to your progress. 
I allow people to take off their mask and you could see their true face, their true intentions. I allowed your intuitions to be so on point that you started to see the spirit of those before the mask came off. I put you in position on this pedestal right in front of all those people that have fell off who tried to drag you down. And now they are all around you watching you. Have you noticed that the people that you gave the most to, that you finally cut off, you set up healthy boundaries with, they're all watching you. The last couple of readings for the last few months have been how everybody is watching you. Haven't you noticed that you can no longer be in the background? See, remember in the past where we was cool being in the background, even though the people that were getting praised didn't, didn't hold nothing to our character, our standards. Now, Spirit has placed you in a position where at one point in time, you were uncomfortable. Now you're comfortable in that position. Spirit says, I was setting the stage up for your victory. All those that spoke ill of you, all those that tried to gloat in front of you as if you were not the fucking prize. Spirit says, I was setting the stage. Those who tried to sneak up and get one up over you. You ever had people, situations, things that you could have called friend or you felt that was allies. And the first moment they got, they tried to hurt you. They tried to Get your feelings in it. They tried to fuck on your friends, fuck on your man, fuck on somebody that they felt like was going to break down your beautiful soul. Spirit said, baby, I was just setting up the stage. As soon as they did it, they found out, like immediately things start falling. Spirit says right now, <clears throat> I'm putting you in power. You are coming into absolute power. Spirit says, I set the stage up so those who have ever wronged you will know that you are in control. That you are the one that they will have to come to to get approval for anything. Spirit says, for a lot of you, family, shit can't move until you give it. It's okay. Do you hear what I'm saying? Spirit says those same individuals are going to be begging you for help. Begging you to give them access to. See, they didn't know they was cutting off their supply when it came to you. Your ancestors want you to know, child. <clears throat> Let me get a little closer. Collective, your ancestors want you to know. This is the time. This is your time. And however you see fit to handle whatever you want to handle, you do it. You are judge, you are juror. Understand, <laughs> there are people who are going to fall that are responsible <clears throat> for your bondage. There are people that are going to fall that are responsible for many, 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 many of your lineages fallen. Spirit says it's up to you. Whatever you see fit is all right with us. Some people may call it revenge. What do you call it? Justice. Some people call it payback. But you call it justice. What was wrong has to be right. And the energy in which you are going in right now is absolute power. They know it. They feel it. They fear it. Family. Spirit says it's coming in real fast. This abundance, this power, it's coming in real fast. And how you choose to handle 
your enemies. How you choose to handle those who were never loyal to you. It's up to you. For you are judge, you are juror, you are God. Your ancestors said, hey, they backing you in anything you do. The things that you say will come to pass. The things that you see in your mind's eye will be seen in front of the world, family. This is a very, very important message of victory, power, and justice. Congratulations. Everything is in your hands.